For those seeking asylum, stepping foot on new soil is the first of many forms of arrival they will negotiate. They also arrive into new political and bureaucratic systems, new medical, educational and social systems, and new spheres for expression of the self. Arrivals like these can be slow and complex. What does it mean and what toll does it take when arrival is a process that's ongoing? Some asylum seekers land in one city to find that close family has found sanctuary in another. Some arrive to find services so poor that moving again is their best option. Many carry trauma and find adjustment to their new surroundings challenging and prolonged. And for many, the cumbersome process of applying to become a refugee creates stress and a sense of always waiting. Some find the struggles that cause them to leave home are mirrored in their new communities and must leave and start again. I first went to Spain, but I didn't have asylum there. I have relatives who don't respect who I am, who have negative opinions about my sexuality. I remember trying to settle in some other places, but I wasn't sure where I was. So after a few days in Spain, I came to Belgium. Here I don't have any family members, so it will be difficult, but at least I have my freedom. While arrival is stressful, support and opportunity can create an environment where everyone benefits. I had no idea where I was. Scared and terrified, I found myself in Leipzig. Randomly, I stumbled across this little theater group. Wow, this was amazing for me. Theater is more than entertainment. I can express myself, the realities of life, and give a voice to what people are going through. Arriving is an ongoing process. It requires continuous effort from young refugees as they work to gain knowledge, learn new languages, make connections, and create a new life in a safe place. I've lived in many different places trying to settle as a refugee. Five years on, and I feel I am an Amsterdamer. This is my city. I even write poems for Amsterdam. Maybe because it's the first city where I feel safe and where I am part of the people. Communities that actively welcome refugees and asylum seekers can help soften the challenges and discomfort of arrival. You can help by volunteering at organizations to help support refugees negotiating their arrival, challenging simplistic understandings about arrival and demonstrating sensitivity and care about this often long and complex process and supporting projects that advance the well-being of refugees and asylum seekers.